Well, hello everyone, Taxi88 here and welcome to another video game review. And now I'm looking at a game called Planet 10, which um, is for the ZX Spectrum. Or at least it would have been if the game were actually released. When I saw... I, I remember seeing a review of this game uh, back in the day, and, in the in the magazine your Sinclair but try as I might I was never able to to find it on shelves nor was I a, nor did I ever see it in mail order lists from what I remember now if the um, loading screen which you briefly saw at the very beginning is anything to go by it looks like it was a Pac-Man clone And we've got this scrolling marquee which shows them. Ooh, well, that doesn't at all look like one of the ghosts from Pac Man. And the, yeah, so, so you get, get this scrolling marquee showing you the, um, the instructions. So, I'm, I wild guess suggests to me that the reason this never got released back in the day is due to copyright issues. Because that that loading screen was very very like um, Pac-Man, so I'm wondering just Master Trotting, and it was only going to cost two ninety nine. Oh, lots of references to Metallica in that. Program graphics and sound by Devil Magic. Programming the game was helped by music of the following groups: Metallica, Iron Maiden, Metallica, Megadeth, Metallica, Slayer, Metallica, Anthrax, Metallica. G. So it may even be that Pac-Man similarities weren't the only reason this game never actually made got a proper got an actual release. It got reviews in magazines, um, do, and it seems like it was supposed to come out in either September or October of 1989, but the release never happened. So let's have a look at what could have been. <laughs> Okay, because this is never released, there were no, there are no instructions. But I'm hoping that they won't be too difficult. I mean, it seems like it's going to be a Pac-Man clone, and it is. So I mean, you get a, you get that map in the. You get that map in the uh, in the bottom right corner, which which gives you an idea from um, from a more traditional Pac-Man style view of of where you are. <laughs> and I went straight into a ghost. Because of course, until you actually seen the ghosts, you haven't got a bally clue where they actually are. Shit. Oh god. That's the second time I just t turned, became face to face with one of those blessed things. I mean, it moves really smooth. Oh, I see. Pressing down actually allows you to about face. Okay. Oh, so maybe I didn't lose lives those other times. I must have just pressed down to about face. Don't turn, you dickhead. Oh, you bugger. That is a nice effect seeing those teeth sort of come down on you when... I don't know why the frame rate suddenly dropped a little. So that was Jesus. <laughs> so 
So you sort of have to keep to It's actually good. It is actually just me. So this does actually have some original ideas as, as well as being a, being like Pac-Man in 3D. Yikes! Damn it! Oh, oh! Of course, I had, I had the power of that pill, so I was able to eat that ghost. I haven't supposed it heard any of the music that's supposedly from the likes of Me Joyce. The, the music that's supposedly from Metallica and Slayer, so I'm sort of wondering whether that was just a Jesus. So I'm wondering whether that was just a bit of a joke. Right, that's all of the uh, pills eaten, or energy units of this game. Disappearance. In that time, you have I've have to reach the center of the map. So this does actually have some original ideas. I just got to hope I don't run into any ghosts. Made it. Well done. Base one captured. Time left 46 seconds. Bonus points. Okay. Thank you for giving me that epileptic seizure. So kind. Some of the sounds in this are quite nice. Oh, now it's getting fast again. And now it isn't. What's with the sudden, the sudden drop in speed after that? I can't... Shit! This actually is really quite interesting. I do wonder how long the appeal would last when you realise that um, whichever way you look at it, this is Pac, this is Pac-Man, and the fact that it's in 3D is not going to change that. But it is quite good that they actually came up with some ideas that uh, that make it a bit unique. So I, can't, um, I do actually have to about face using. Damn it! So, oh, I've got that thing on my tail. Damn it! No! Oh, bollocks! Life 
taken off. I'm going to turn the other way. It's very easy to tell which way you're facing on that map screen, so that's fine. Oh! Oh, that came out of nowhere. It is actually quite terrifying when you suddenly see one of those ghosts coming coming for you and it just comes out of nowhere. Oh no! Let's give this another go. So it seems like initially you get a temporary speed boost and then it wears off. A little bit of colour clash on these power pills because uh, as you can tell by the uh, surrounding walls taking on the same colour as the um, power pill. Gobble, 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 please. Just, damn it, I couldn't turn. I always have my finger covering that, that room. That back, uh, that, that down button in case I need to about face at the drop of a hat if a ghost decides to suddenly pop its head around the corner and say hello. It moves really smoothly as you can see. Gobbly gobbly. It plays really well. It's just a shame that the that the game never never actually got a really damn it. Graphics are really quite nice, especially you know, given the limitations of spectrum. I mean, uh, obviously there is a little bit of colour clash, but it doesn't really ruin anything. It's it's not particularly unsightly. Come to daddy. I think it's safe to say that copyright issues were the reason that this never actually got a got a full ball release. I mean, whichever way you look at it, this is Pac-Man and sort of the 3D aspect. No, oh, damn, I was, I was surrounded between those two ghosts. There was nothing I could do about that. Yeah, so as I was saying, I, I think it's safe to say that uh, the... Um, the legal issues with um, with, with uh, I believe it's Namco who owned the rights to Pac-Man. I, I believe that the that legal issues um, no with them were the reason this game never actually got 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 released. So, presu so presumably they didn't have permission to actually do the uh, to, to actually do the game. Oh God. Sound effects are quite nice in this. And it, it does make you recoil in terror when you suddenly see a ghost appearing out from the from the corner. It's hard to say say much about. Damn it! Oh, that's easy. No! Oh, blooming! Oh, I got totally surrounded again. Last life, and I've only got one bloody pill to eat. 
Oh, sod off. Well, that's Planet 10, what would have been for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum had it actually ever got a release. It is really quite playable, even though it is, it is in essence, just Pac-Man in 3D. I mean, Pac-Man is a classic game, and transferring it into 3D, bearing in mind this game would have come out in 1989, it, it seemed like a natural progression for the game. And it really is such a shame that the game was never officially released. This was only a, would have only been available for the 48k. Uh, it seems like there was never a specific 128k version, but even this music that I'm hearing now is pretty good for a 48k spectrum. It seems like it was uh, it was created by a Serbian uh, person, Davo Madic. So, um, graphics are really quite nice. I mean, they, they move really smoothly. They got managed to sneak, get, get plenty of colour in there, albeit with a little bit of clash at times. But no, none of the clash um, ruins it. And, and, it, and the, the ghosts have a surprising level of detail, even when they're, when they're really quite big. And when you suddenly see a, a ghost suddenly poke its head around the corner and surprise you, it, it does actually uh, genuinely make you jump, just as I expect it would have done, uh, done if you were actually genuinely the you know, Pac-Man or, or whatever he was supposed to be called um, in this maze. I'm presuming he wasn't actually going to be called Pac-Man if they didn't, if as I believe it would have been the case, they didn't even have permission to use the Pac-Man license. It's, a, it's also kind of a shame they actually picked ghosts to be the enemies and not something else. Perhaps they might not have had quite the same legal issues. Um, I mean, when you look at the um, the, uh, the, uh, the loading screen, it's so blatant. The main character you control, which is visible on that screen, is so blatantly um, a, a rip-off of Pac-Man. And the fact they picked ghosts as the enemies, and the fact you're gobbling pills and power pills, it really didn't help matters. Yeah, you get the occasional power up in those white squares, whatever they are, but uh, but uh, in essence, it's Pac-Man, whichever way you look at it, even though it's in 3D. It plays really well, and it's it's good that they've given the about face button, uh, because, uh, because turning in the normal way doesn't allow you to... Um, doesn't doesn't allow you to turn out unless you turn in a 90 degree angle and and if you if you see a turn coming up to the left you can actually just hold down the left button until you approach it and when the time when he's in the right position he'll 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 turn accordingly or rotate I suppose so I'm really quite impressed with the, uh, the game I, I think I'd happily give planet 10 8 out of 10. It's, it's quite an interesting piece. It's definitely worth a look and uh, and to think about what might have been if only uh, if only, as I believe was the case, they'd actually sought permission from Namco and and potentially Atari to actually get permission to give this game the uh, the proper release that it was originally going to have. Such is life, I suppose. But anyway. Hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another one soon. Taxi88 out.